Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams, and it's Tuesday, November the 8th. I voted. I'm proud of that. That's something good to do. Hopefully, you voted as well today. In the meantime, we've talked a lot about the NAI playoff picture and more here on Midwest Sports Net. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. And one of the questions we didn't get to in our most recent video, I want to address right now, as well as talk about something else in football in AI in particular. So let's go over those things really quickly now. The first thing is, what about Mid-America Nazarene? We talked about so many different playoff possibilities and different things that could happen in the NAI. If you'd like to hear about those or watch those, please go to one of the other videos that we have on that, a couple of videos we previously put out very recently on Monday and, and one on Sunday as well. In the meantime, let's talk about Mid-America Nazarene. That was the question that came up because Mid-America Nazarene still has a chance to win the Heart South in football. And that will be on Saturday, senior day in Olathe, as the Pioneers are going to be hosting Benedictine. Now, the Ravens come in a top 10 team in the NAI coaches poll, 9-1 and on the season, 4-0 and in Heart South play. The Pioneers come in unranked in the NAI coaches poll. And although you are three and one in the Heart South and can win at least a share of the Heart South championship, the Mid American Nazarene Pioneers are not going to go to the playoffs. It's, it's, well, I'm going to say it like this there is a 0.001% chance. There's always a chance. You never know what's going to happen, but what it would take to get there would just be really, really a monumental feat because you'd have to be in the top 20 in the coaches poll. So it doesn't matter if you've won your conference championship and you would have the tiebreaker at that point too, because you would have won head to head against Benedictine who also would have been four and one at the time. So tiebreaker comes in. I understand that. Now I'm not even factoring in evangel right now. So Valor folks, don't be upset at me about that, but the chances for mid American Nazarene to make the playoffs are virtually non-existent. It's about the same thing as uh, what it is for Texas Wesleyan, who could win a share of the conference championship in the Sooner Athletic Conference on Saturday as well, and would have a tiebreaker in a three-way tie, but it's not going to happen. Texas Wesleyan is, is has about the same percent, 0. .001. So that's just the way it works out. So I wanted to address that issue. And it's unfortunate because mid American Nazarene is not getting the national attention that it deserves right now. Seven and three on the season. It's been a good year. You've been playing in a tough heart conference against what is historically a tough heart South division coming away. Now three and one on the season, have a chance to go four and one. We'll see how it all works out. It's kind of like the volleyball team, mid America volleyball team. Let me go ahead and stay here for just a moment. Mid America Nazarene 27 and one on the year just now has made it into the top 10. Another ranking will come out tomorrow. Not rating, but ranking. We'll talk about that on the channel in an upcoming video. But top 10 could be a little bit higher when it's all said and done at the end of the regular season. The Pioneers are 27-1. and A fantastic year. The only loss of the year came in the regular season finale to Park. Park, by the way, a fantastic program in and of itself. It's come down to Mid-American Nazarene and Park in the Volleyball Heart Tournament championship that's going to be on saturday both teams 18 and 1 in conference over the course of the regular season park 24 26 and 4 mid-american Nazarene 27 and 1 both teams are going to make it to the nai playoffs and this is where i'm sorry for the football team you're not going to have a chance to play in the the playoffs it's it's not going to work out that way but for the volleyball team here's your chance you didn't get the national recognition that you probably deserve this year Make some noise in the playoffs. That is your opportunity. Make some noise in the playoffs. A shout out for Midwest Sportsnet to you guys to go ahead and do that. One other thing, too, while we're talking really quickly, and that is football. Now, uh, football from the playoff perspective, we talked about that, though. The Victory Bowl is an opportunity in the postseason as well. It's hosted by the NCCAA, the National Christian College Act Athletic Association. It's a good Bowl And at the top of the list of teams that are available right now to play in this, members of the NCCAA who have football teams who've been a part of this throughout the course of the season, Ottawa of Arizona has the highest rating right now, and that is a rating with them. Again, we'll have that in an upcoming video. Has the highest rating right now. Ottawa very well may make the playoffs in the NAI, so wouldn't be playing in the victory bowl there. The next two teams down the line are Southwestern Assemblies of God and Concordia in Ann Arbor. So it could be a matchup there. Any one of any two of those three teams could 
play in the Victory Bowl, and that's a look at how it, it shakes out as of November 8th. The final rating will come out on November 15th, which is one week from today. So I hope that cleared everything up for you. Sorry, I don't have better news for Mid-American Nazarene, but you can still win the at least a share of the Hart South Championship. One o'clock from Olathe, Mid-American Nazarene hosting Benedictine, and also coming up on Saturday, Mid-American Nazarene's volleyball team is going to be hosting Park as well. Shout out to all you guys there in Olathe. Hope things are going well. Thanks for watching this. Please take the time, like this video, share the video, and please subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, God bless you. Have a great day.